Hi guys, so I thought I'd just do a quick video because the Grammy nominations are out. Um, I've never like reacted to them or anything. I've never really brought up the Grammys on my channel, but um, there was some interesting um, things going through. Um, so I thought I'd just take a look at um, some of the big categories and talk about my opinion on what has been nominated and what has been snubbed. So something I am instantly confused by going through is that um, a lot of the things that have been nominated are actually released before the eligibility like dates. Um, to be eligible for an award in the 2021 um, award ceremony, you need to have put out an album or song that came out between September 1st, 2019 or August 31st, 2020. Um, but there's some like weird things that have been nominated for that came out before that um obviously we we'll go through them when we get to them um we'll just start off straight at the top of this list published from the new york times um for record of the year you've got black parade by beyonce which came out um Record of the year, you got Black Parade by Beyonce, Colors by Black Pumas, Rockstar by The Baby, Say So by Doja Cat, Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish, Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa, Circles by Post Malone, and Savage by Megan Thee Stallion. Um, out of these, there's nothing really too like surprising or anything. It's um, nice to see Billie Eilish still getting um, attention um, for the cup like one song she really put out this year and um that Dua Lipa song Don't Start Now is great from a really good album so I'm happy to see that um nominated I um will probably say that the award will either go to Beyonce maybe Black Pumas because they're nominated for like every single award um but I'd like to see it go to Billie Eilish or Dua Lipa um the other songs that haven't I'm not too familiar with or I'm not a big fan like the Post Malone song I'm not really into um, album of the year is where I think there's a lot of big snubs and things that have been nominated that make not a lot of sense at all so you got Chilimbo by Jenny Aiko I don't know how to pronounce that name I've never heard of this person so yeah Black Pumas Deluxe Edition um, so they released their debut album in June of 2019 um, but it's nominated I guess because it's a deluxe edition instead of a standard edition which is just straight up bullshit like there's so many other albums you could nominate instead but they've picked a deluxe edition of an album it's just bollocks um everyday life by coldplay an album i liked a lot but i don't think it's worthy of being nominated jess volume three by jacob collier women in music part three by haim also i liked it a lot but don't think it's worthy of album of the year future nostalgia by dua lipa which out of all of them is probably my favorite album here hollywood bleeding by post malone and folklore by taylor swift if I was to guess who's going to win, I think it's either going to be Haim or Taylor Swift with this one. Obviously, the Grammys love Taylor Swift. They're always giving her awards and stuff, so it wouldn't be a big surprise if she won the album of the year. Um, I'd like to see it go to Dua Lipa because that Future Nostalgia album was great. Um, if it doesn't go to Taylor Swift, probably I could see it going to Haim or Black Pumas. Maybe Post Malone because he's not won a substantial award like that yet. And then we get to a Song of the Year. I've never been able to work out what's different between Record of the Year and Song of the Year. Um, I've always... I've tried looking it up. Same with like the performance versus the song. And no one seems to have a clear answer what the difference is, which is annoying. Um... Especially since the, a lot of the time they're very, very similar, the nominees. So Song of the Year, there's Black Parade, Beyonce song, Cadence. Um, I don't know who wrote that song. Um, the Box, Cardigan from that Taylor Swift album. Circles, again, Post Malone. Don't Start Now, again, Dua Lipa. Um, uh, where am I? Sorry, I got lost for a second. I was confused because um, 
okay, I've worked it out now. So d- for some reason, um, someone's name was labelled as like a song on this article. It was weird. So you got Black Parade, Beyonce, The Box by Roddy Rich, Cardigan by Taylor Swift, Circles by Post Malone, Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa, Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish, I Can't Breathe by Her, and If the World Was Ending by J.P. Sachs. Um, again, really like the Dua Lipa and Billie Eilish song, so I'd be happy to see it go to either of them. Um, but it's probably going to go to Beyonce because when don't they give awards to Beyonce or Taylor Swift um best new artist Ingrid Andres Phoebe Bridges Chica Noah Cyrus D Smoke Doja Cat K and Megan The Stallion I can see it going to either Deja Cat, Doja Cat or Megan The Stallion um K is a weird pick here because he's been going up for a few years like his debut I think came out in 2016 and that was a pretty big success so to see him get nominated for best new artist is a bit of a strange decision um but yeah best pop solo performance um Starting off with um, probably the worst thing the Grammy have ever nominated, Yummy by Justin Bieber, um, which I don't understand why that's nominated at all because it is absolutely awful. It's not even like funny bad. It's just atrociously terrible. It was one of the worst songs of the last couple of years I've ever heard. Um that made no sense. Last song of the last, worst song of the last couple of years I've ever heard. What the fuck? It was worst song of last year in my opinion. Say So by Doja Cat, Everything I Wanted, Billie Eilish, Don't Start Now, Dua Lipa, Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles, and Cardigan by Taylor Swift. Um, that Billie Eilish and Dua Lipa song that's been nominated for nearly everything now. Um, I can see it going to either of them, maybe Harry Styles. Um, but to be fair, like I said, Grammys love Taylor Swift, so it wouldn't be a shock either. Um, best pop duo group performance, Undaya, J Balvin, Dua Lipa, Bad Bunny and Taney, Intentions by Justin Bieber featuring Quavo, Dynamite by BTS, Rain On Me by Lady Gaga with Ariana Grande, and Exile, Taylor Swift featuring Bon Iver. Um, it's going to go to BTS, like... I like that Dynamite song a lot. I'm not a big fan of K-pop, but I like that song. But um, yeah, it's going to go to BTS. Like, K-pop has been such a huge thing in the last couple of years that um, giving the award to that is like going to be seen as such a progressive and huge move for um, the Grammys. So it's going to go to them. I'd be surprised if it went to anyone else. Um, next, we have Best Pop Vocal Album. I assume that just means the best pop album with good vocals i don't really know a lot of these um titles just don't make a lot of sense so you got changes by justin bieber chromatica by lady gaga future nostalgia by dua lipa fine line by harry styles or folklore by taylor swift um again probably going to go to taylor swift Um, But I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it went to anyone here apart from Justin Bieber. Um, And that's not me, like, attacking him or anything. I just feel like everyone else is more likely to win. Um, I did like Future Nostalgia a lot, as I said. I enjoyed um, Fine Line, the Harry Styles album. Um, Chromatica wasn't a big fan of. Um, I didn't even listen to the Justin Bieber album, to be honest. But I completely see it going to anyone other than him um best rock performance um this is where it gets confusing because shamika by fiona apple is nominated which that album should have been nominated for best album it was the best album of 2020 um but for some reason it's nominated for best alternative music album so so what is it is it rock is it alternative it do- that doesn't make any sense like yeah um i think that will win anyway so you've got that not by big thief kyoto by phoebe bridges the steps by heim stay high by Brittany howard or daylight by grace potter um i could see Brittany howard or heim also winning it but it's probably going to go to fiona apple everyone loves that album um best rock album um is a very strange um pick 
collection of albums. So you got Heroes Death by Fontaine's DC, which I like the album. Didn't expect it to be nominated here. Like going off all those um, like big um, bands and the post punk like revival we've had over the last couple of years, I would have expected to see Proto Martyr or Idols um, nominated here instead of Fontaine's DC, but. I can't complain. They're a good band. They're not. They're not going to win the award, but it's really cool to see them nominated. Um, they got Kiwanuka by Michael Kiwanuka, Daylight by Grace Potter, Sound and Fury by Sturgill Simpson, and The New Abnormal by The Strokes. I can see it going to The Strokes or Sturgill Simpson. Would be nice to see it go to The Strokes because The New Abnormal's like one of the best albums they've ever done and a huge return to form for them. Um, but yeah, I can see it going to. Sturgill Simpson instead also um, best alternative music album we got Fetch the Bolt Cutters by Fiona Apple, Hyperspace by Beck, Punisher by Phoebe Bridges, Jamie by Brittany Howard and the Slow Rush by Tame Impala I just noticed that uh, three of the five bands nominate or five musicians nominated for best alternative music album were nominated for best rock performance so they clearly just don't give a shit about um, what's classed as what. Um, I can see it going to Fiona Apple or Tame Impala. Would be good to see it go to Fiona Apple because she definitely deserved Best Album nomination at least. Um, I prefer Fetch the Bolt Cutters, but I do love the Slow Rush a lot, so it would be cool to see it go to Tame Impala. But I think um, Fiona Apple is more of the favourite, uh, more of like the industry beloved musician that I can see winning um is there anything else that I can really comment on I don't think there's much here really I've am that familiar with post that um sorry I'm just going through everything at the moment just to see um what we have So, um, producer of the year, um, no, no one that's like controversial or anything, but there's like some cool people here. Um, Jack Antonov, Dan Auerbach, Dave Cobb, Flying Lotus and Andrew Watt. Probably going to go to Jack Antonov because everyone loves him. Um, and there's also best music film where you got the Beastie Boys story movie that they made with Spike Jones for Apple Plus, Black is Kin- King by Beyonce, that was her like Lion King visual album thing she did for Disney Plus, um, We Are Freestyle, Love Supreme, Linda Rodenstadt, The Sound of My Voice, and that little old band from Texas, ZZ Top. Um, it's a shame that... Um, that the um, Rolling Thunder Review um, documentary isn't nominated because that film was great. Um, yeah, that was in the boundaries. Came out late last year, I believe. Um, that was a really great film, so it would have been nice to have seen that get a nomination. Um, so, yeah. Um, overall, I think this is just some really weird things are being nominated and things that things that shouldn't have been nominated like that Black Pumas Deluxe Edition like that's just taking up space that could have been given to someone else like I've not listened to the album so I can't I'm not gonna like say it's shit or anything and that it doesn't deserve a nomination I just don't think you should give a nomination to a deluxe edition of an album like give it to the original version of the album like giving it to the deluxe edition seems like they're just trying to right the wrong of not nominating it to begin with um which is just really frustrating but whatever i guess um yeah there's not really much else to say um there's some snubs some things that shouldn't have been nominated at all um, but that's kind of what I think is going to happen in terms of what's going to win and yeah there's some good albums here good songs here 
but I do think there's a lot of garbage as well. But you you expect that from the Grammys. It's what you get every single year. Um, yeah, it's a shame that um, the cutoff points in August because there's so many good albums that have come out since then that I don't think are gonna get nominated next year either. Um, because who knows what's going to happen in the next year maybe something like some real masterpieces are going to come out and those great albums are going to be forgotten about but only time will tell so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this little rambling video about the grammys i didn't do any editing or anything i've just basically sat down in front of my camera and i'm going to sync up and that's about it so hopefully it was somewhat interesting and if it wasn't um, I apologise, but you sat through the whole thing, so clearly I was doing something right. Um, thanks for watching, guys. My year-end lists are in the works at the moment. Hopefully they'll be out late December, early January. Um, just a fair warning, they're going to be quite long, because there's a lot to discuss. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.